Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In our previous video we demonstrated our layers panel so we can go ahead and we can close this. What we're going to be taking a look at in this video is our images panel so we can toggle this open. Once we open it you'll see that we have two main options for using the image panel. One is to save a watermark with a snapshot so you have an option of using a watermark or not. Uh, within this you can also generate different sizes for your image anything from 25% to 400%. And you can also smart resize to generate icons based on your artboard. So we're going to take a look at both of these uh, features very quickly. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a snapshot of our current artboard. And we only need to select a layer within it so that the artboard itself is selected. Uh, and let's go ahead and let's simply take a snapshot of our artboard. So the very first thing you'll see is that it will be at 100% uh, because that's what we placed it at. Let's test it at 25%. So you'll see it's much smaller. And this is great for a quick preview for a client. Now, uh, assuming we wanted to protect our document, uh, you know, just for whatever the reason is, uh, there's not really that many nowadays, but we can add a quick watermark to it. And you'll see that now it rendered our image with our watermark attached. So there are a lot of quick and easy options for creating uh, your image with quick snapshots. So now let's go ahead and let's actually render a few icons based on our artboards. So you'll see here that with our smart resize, we have a lot of default sizes that we've generated. So we can simply go ahead and choose one for argument's sake. Let's go with a uh, banner. Now this is going to initially give us a couple different sizes and this is going to be based on the size map that we've given it. So our first size is 120 by 60. Our second size is going to be 234 by 60. Our third size is 300 by 100 and our last size is 728 by 90. So what this will do is generate smart icons based on those sizes keeping in reference uh, the design that you have uh, within your actual artboard itself. So let's go ahead and let's create a few so that we can take a look. So you'll see here that we have our sizes that were denoted. And you'll note that it will resize it uh, particularly based on the actual content so that way you relatively have something within the image. Uh, let's take a look at another artboard and see how it generates that. So let's give this a couple icons as well. So maybe, let's see what the square has. Let's see how this works. Okay, so we have a couple different sizes for our component squares. Let's see. You can see there, quick and easy icons generated from your artboards using Export Kit Lightning Storm for Adobe XD.